This special tiger had been completely captivated by a specific woman for days. She tried painfully to find out what was going on with the majestic animal. He seemed to have something stuck in his paw, but refused to show it to the outside world. For days, she camped out in front of his enclosure to catch a glimpse of his big secret. But he didn't reveal anything, until he didn't pay attention for a moment and managed to reveal his huge secret. She didn't notice it herself, but her camera saw everything, and when she looked back at the footage, Raphael was the new start of the buck in Zoo Zoo. Yesterday, he had finally arrived. After a long journey from China, he could now call this his new home. The regulars were very much looking forward to witnessing the beautiful tiger. There were all kinds of animals here, but never tigers. Raphael was the superstar they had all been waiting for, and tomorrow it was time. People could get the first glimpse of him. They'd come face to face with this big wildcat. Raphael came from the savannah of Asia. This is where he had lived his whole childhood. Together with his wife, he paraded around his natural habitat. Unfortunately, there were a lot of poachers lurking there all the time. To protect these beautiful tigers, they were often captured and then resold to various zoos. Under the charade of rather trapped than killed, this caused Raphael to be abruptly from his home. What a giant blow to a wild animal. He went from a dominant alpha male of the Great Plans to a captive tiger within a few days. The zoo opened to visitors. Among them was Carla 29. She was a wildlife photographer, which meant she took pictures of animals for a magazine, and she couldn't wait to show off Raphael's best side. Her biggest dream was to go to Africa or Asia and to photograph beets in the wild. This way, hopefully, she could one day see her report in the prestigious weekly Green Soil. They have a different look and appearance than the animals at a zoo. That's why she hoped the freshly plucked tiger still had the savannas in its eyes. Carla went to the zoo early in the morning. She hoped to avoid the crowd so she could take a few pictures in peace. Raphael was probably busy. Almost all visitors at the zoo were eager to see it. Luckily, she was ahead of them all. For three days, in the morning, afternoon and evening, she took several photos of him. Luckily, she was able to get her radiation, but that wasn't the only thing she got her hands on. In every morning photo, Raphael did something special. He was under the rock, in a place where he wasn't very visible. Judging by his glaze, he was on his guard. A little panicked, he looked around. What stood out most was his paw. It was there the same way every time. If she didn't know any better, she'd think he was hiding something there. Carly got very curious. She decided to ask the zoo if she could take pictures very early in the morning. To her delight, they agreed. At 6 o'clock the next morning, Carla was at the zoo. Secretly, she walked to the tiger cage. She wasn't trying to stand out so that Raphael wouldn't notice her. Otherwise, he might behave differently. It was essential that he thought no one was around. From a bush about 10 meters from the cage, she found a suitable hiding spot. She grabbed her camera and zoomed in on Raphael. It was right there again, just like in the picture. Half an hour passed and nothing happened. The tiger only seemed to rub his snout against his paw. But just when Carla wanted to leave, it happened. She held her camera with clammy hands. It was still zoomed in on Raphael. Slowly, there was movement in his paw. And then a little bird flew away from under his paw. When Carla sat this, she was a little shocked. She never expected this. The little bird flew right out of the zoo. She tried to take another picture of the animal, but it was too quick. Before she could click her camera, he was gone. After the bird flew away, Raphael started walking around in his cage. He was probably getting ready for the crowd of people who would come and see him again. Carla turned her camera over and looked at the photos from the last few days. It looked like Raphael spent every morning with the little bird under his arm. Why? She realized that there was only one key to this answer. Find the place where the bird was flying to. How would she figure this out? After some wrangling, she got her boyfriend Joey to come to the zoo the next morning. Joey was a drone journalist who mainly made a lot of reports regarding forest fires. The two were behind the bush where Carla was yesterday at 6.15 a.m. When they looked at Raphael, he was back in the same position, with his paw in the same place. And then the same thing happened again. His foot slowly moved aside. 
Have the drone ready, a troubled Carla told Joey. The camera of the drone allowed them to track the bird on Joey's phone. It seemed like it was flying to the other side of town. There wasn't much there except another zoo. When the bird got close to the other zoo, it began to descend. It looked like it was going to land in one of the cages at the back. The drone hovered above it, but Carla and Joey were about to zoom in down below. They followed the bird all the way to the cages. The bird landed on another tiger. This looked a lot like a female tiger in terms of size. The bird landed in front of her and crawled close to her. Here it remained for 15 minutes and then flew away again. The tigress then walked away again. She acted like it was the most normal thing in the world. Carla didn't know what she was seeing, but to her delight, Joey had filmed everything, so she was able to look back on it quietly afterwards. But first, she wanted to know something else. That afternoon, she went to the other zoo to ask for information about the tigress. It turned out that Raphael and the tigress came from exactly the same region, and on the exact same day were delivered to the zoos. It was a couple that was taken apart. Through the bird, they were still able to communicate. That way, they could keep an eye on each other. They were actually only 10 kilometers away from each other. But for them, this might as well have been the other side of the world. Carla decided to report on this romantic incident, titled, True Love Has No Obstacles. With the help of the drone footage, she told this wonderful story. The zoos decided to transfer the tigress to Rafal's cage. They were so touched by the beautiful story that they no longer wanted to tear them apart. The reunion of the two lovebirds was heartwarming, and Carla was the only one allowed to report on this. With tears in her eyes, she saw the two wild cats in love jump into each other's arms.